Welcome to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. I'm Nick Papa from New Britain Fire, here with Pete Morato from Fire Training Innovations. We're going to discuss ventilation, specifically hydraulic ventilation. Now this is a form of supplemental ventilation that's initiated after the fire has been knocked down. The great part about hydraulic ventilation is it's inherently coordinated because it's done by the engine company that has just knocked down the fire. Once they've located an exhaust point, a window, they can then play their stream out of the window, ensuring that the stream encapsulates the window and it creates a negative pressure effect. That negative pressure is going to draw the smoke and the products of combustion out of the window and clear the space. Regardless of the nozzle your department operates, you can hydraulically ventilate with a smoothbore nozzle. Most of the time we think about the fog nozzle and the fog pattern removing most of the products of combustion. If your department has only smoothbore nozzles, you can accomplish this task by removing the tip of your screw back nozzle and utilizing the bale open in the half position, staying a little closer to the exhaust outlet and you will still move a tremendous amount of products of combustion and, and the smoke out of the, out of the fire compartment. Now as you can see, with the tip removed and the bale in a partially open position, it breaks up the stream and increases the water velocity. Both of these together are going to increase the air entrainment, which is going to remove more of the byproducts of combustion. If the stream is a little bit on the smaller side for the window, the stream can then be agitated to further increase the air entrainment and encapsula uh, encapsulate more of the opening. As you can see, hydraulic ventilation is a very effective tactic, regardless of what type of nozzle you're utilizing. I'm Nick Papa, and this is Pete Murado, and thank you for watching Fire Engineering's Training Minutes.